you know what really sucks? <laughs> Do you know what really sucks? Is that I was talking on about how about step number one for about half an hour and I wasn't even recording. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, that is a pain in the rear end right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, <laughs> this is what I caught while I was rambling for like 20, 30 minutes. Well, more like 10 minutes. I say 20, 30. It was not. It was probably 10 minutes, all right? So this is what I caught in the meantime. Um, this will be step two. I did it in reverse because when I started the recording, it was nighttime out. So I decided to just do step two first. So ignore this. You'll find out in the next part of the video. <laughs> Um, about the Rafi, all right, but I got the lake trout arctic more lake trout some perch and that's what I got all right um, For uh, trolling, but again here is step number one and it's called trolling all right So I'll show you what I'm using here in a second. I gotta I gotta uh, start all over again <laughs> Oh, man, that sucks. I'm recording now, right? Yep. Oh, good lord All right so let's continue what I was saying and start all over. This is step number one. I'll show you what I'm using here in just a second. Two kilogram Arctic, amazing. So I am using here a Balsa Minnow 7506. And all right, <laughs> a lot of you are gonna start complaining just like always, all right? Oh, you're using a Balsa Minnow. How dare you put this in a beginner's guide? Wow, you suck, wow. I can't believe you're doing this. You know, I understand that, okay? But again, look at my silver. I have one silver, okay? You know why I have one silver? It's because I gave everything I have away. Everything that I could send over with silver, I did. I have nothing to my name anymore. Nothing, okay? Um, the, all, the giveaway yesterday is all, I give everything away I owned, everything. So basically I'm starting all over again from scratch. All I have is my equipment, that's all I have. Because I'm too nice, all right? That's just me, who I am. And so the people who are complaining about the Balsam Minnows, about the beginner guide, there's no more complaining. Because I have the Balsam Minnow unlocked now, all right? I, I spend about six, seven thousand silver to continuously grind for to unlock the balsam minnow just for you guys i couldn't care less about the balsam minnow i couldn't care less because personally i just buy in with silver with gold you know i don't care so if i need a balsam minnow i'll just buy it with gold but i did this for you guys i spent all my silver six thousand silver on the giveaway and the other half of that was all on trying to unlock the balsam minnow so that i can give all of it away to you guys all right because i know how important the balsam minnow is at Cory lake so now all I have to do is get six more thousand, six thousand more silver, and I can unlock well and get the uh, the wood carving tool which you need to craft the balsa minnow. All right, I got the balsa unlocked. I just need the wood carving, and that should be within a couple of days. All right, with the C. So give me a couple of days, and then you can ask me whenever you want for a balsa minnow, and I will give one to you. Right, but please. Only ask for what you need, all right? If you have five balsam minnows or even two balsam minnows, don't ask for more, all right? Use them. If you lose them, then you can ask for more, all right? Because they are very extremely expensive to make, too, you know? So only ask if you need one, all right? Don't try to stockpile <laughs> because it will just ruin it for everyone else, right? So I will give each and one of you a balsam minnow whenever you ask for it, all right? So... If you're saying, oh, wow, I don't have a balsam minnow unlocked for Corey. This is a beginner's guide. Wow, it's 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 over now. Thanks for nothing. Well, no, I will give you a balsam minnow, right? If that's your problem, I'll give you one so that you can start your way up. No other YouTuber will do this. I promise you, no other YouTuber is going to spend thousands on you. No one. I will. I will. I already did. I gave away probably 10K silver in giveaways to you guys on that giveaway stream. I gave away everything I owned. And then after the stream, I felt bad because that's who I am for the people who didn't win. So they came to ask me, oh, can I have some stuff? I gave them everything I owned. I had I have literally one silver to my name. And do you know what I did? Do you know what I did? Is I went ahead and got gold, put gold on my account to give to you guys. One person asked for a bunch of lures. I had no silver at all. He asked for his lures. He's brand new to the game. He has nothing. Knowing me, I'm a good guy. You know, I, I can't say no. So I went ahead and put gold on my account. I bought the lures with gold and sent them over. That's who I am. No other YouTuber will do that. If you ask, uh, see what I mean? Ray cut off by fish teeth. Okay. This is, well, 
I think that's what I said in the last part that wasn't recorded, but you use a 12 to 15 kilogram leader, it's going to be bitten off. Crazy, if you're watching this, this is what I mean. You use a 15 kilogram leader, it's going to be bitten off by fish teeth every single time. But again, this is about making silver. You're going to have to risk it for the biscuit. You know, um, using a 35 kilogram leader is just going to slow the bite rate down and you can't live your life in fear. You're going to have to use anywhere anywhere from a 12 to 15 kilogram leader to optimize your bite rate, all right? But because I'm here now, I can send you the balsam minnows, all right? So if you lose one by accident, like I said, I'll give you another one, okay? I'm going to have multiple of them, many of them, every single day. So I lost a balsam minnow right here. I already lost one by fish teeth, and that's going to happen. Don't get mad. I'll send you another one. No other YouTuber in this community will give you what away what I do. I will literally put gold onto my account just to give to you guys. No other YouTuber will do that. I will. So that's what that's, that's how I stand out from the rest of the community. I love helping. If I don't if I don't got it, I'll buy it with gold and give it to you. All right. That's just who I am. I can't say no. All right. So this is step number one is trolling all right i showed you what to use all right this is the setup i used 12 kilograms used anywhere from 12 to 15 kilogram liters 60 centimeters right again if you don't have 60 centimeters because you probably won't when you're at quarry come to me and i'll hook you up all right i'll hook you up with whatever you need to um to get on your way like i said before a million times no other youtuber will do this all right so Ask me for the ball. So ask me for the leader size. I'll give it to you. But with the ball, some may give me like two days. From this video, give me two days so I can grind up for the um, wood carving tool. And then I'll be on my way to give you all the ball souls you want. All right. So that is step number one. Let's go recap and see what I got here. So keep net. I'm, I'm going to count <laughs> the rest of the fish that I got um, on the recording that wasn't recording. So we got all these lake trouts, arctic chars, and all of that. You're going to get so much of this during the day, all right? So this is step one, is trolling, all right? That's, that's step one. Step two, well, you're going to have to find out and stick around to find out how to make silver on step two. So without any further ado, let's go right on ahead to step number two. Okay, so step two, what you want to do is fish roughy during the night, all right? You want to make sure that you're getting silver every single hour of the day. You're not going to want to sit at shore and just wait until daytime, right? Because you, be you can be making silver while um, you're waiting for morning, all right? So you're going to want to come to 113.92 on this island here. You're going to have to um, boat to this island. And then you're going to want to come face the wall, all right? There's no clip needed. As long as you're in the 15 hole, you are fine. So, sometimes your line will slack like this. That's just part of the game, especially at this spot. So just tighten your lines up, and you'll start getting roughy or a burbot, whatever it may be. But you you definitely want to make sure your time is valuable. So you can make a lot of silver during the night here. We got a white bream three nineteen, not bad at all. all right, let's put this back down. And sometimes if you hit too close to the cliff, your line will slack a lot because it's just trying to move down the cliff and it's just going to slack, slack, slack. So just make sure that your line is away, away from the wall so that doesn't happen. We got another fish on rod number one here. Let's see what this is. I started a little late in the night, so that's why <laughs> I don't have much fish in the keep net. But 72 gram roughy, there we go. We just got to get it in deep hole, not too close to the cliff, because you don't want that line slacking a lot. There you go. And then to find out if you have a fish on or not, press G on your rod. If your rod is glitching out, you'll know what I mean when it's glitching out the menu here. That means you got a fish on, all right? If it's not, then you don't, okay? Also, this is what I am using. You haven't seen already. I'm using, just using a Red Worms, tiny 24, and a 7.4 kilogram liter for this, all right? I think the line's just slacking you. It's going to happen a lot, guys, at this spot. <laughs> That's why you've got to check the menu and see if it's glitching. But this is a really good method on how to make a lot of silver during the night. So always want to make sure of that. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more roughy during the night. Well, it's pretty much morning now. <laughs> yeah. 
This is a really good way to make a lot of silver during the night. The roughy should bite until probably around like 7, 8 a.m. You can get them throughout the day, but I don't recommend coming to the spot during the day because you could be trolling, you could be bottom feeding other spots when it's um, that's active during the day, which I'll show you on on part three, I believe it is. So this is part two, and this is roughy fishing, all right? This will work every single night. This will probably get you around maybe 80 to 100 silver per night, which all racks up, all right? So yeah, I think that's it for the night. Even though they can bite until like 7 a.m. or 8. But here's another one. Um, regular worms also work. I caught my tro my few trophies here with the regular worm. So if you want to use regular worm and that's all you got, that works too. 68 gram roughy. I'm just going to bring these rods in now. Yep, we got another one here. You can probably catch anywhere from 30 roughy to 40 roughy a night. Probably more like 30. But if you're lucky, you can probably get around 40. So another roughy. There we go. So it's going to level your skill bottom up and you're going to get a lot of silver off this. So that is part two on how to get a lot of silver at Cory Lake. Okay, step number three. I got to hurry up here. <laughs> this fish biting like mad. I missed that one. I'm going to miss this one as well. Oh, good Lord. I was not expecting all to bite like this uh, <laughs> all at once. Um... Yeah, I literally missed every single one of them. All three went off, and I missed every single one of them. I was just trying to record. I, I clicked the record button. <laughs> so you want to come to 128.86. This is where I am on the map right here. Um, one meter depth, okay? Um, I am using Mayfly Larva, tw um, 24 hook. Um, yeah, that's all you need to know. And this is a... Again, I missed it. God damn, dude. Seriously? See, now this is why I don't float fish, because I am horrible at hooking, at setting the hook. So, uh, so yeah. You guys might have better luck than me, but this is a hot spot for Vendace. Like, absolutely the honey hole. And we got one coming up here. Come on, baby. Bite the hook. Bite the hook for daddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let me guess. I'm not going to set this one. See what I mean? I can't set it. I want to get... Oh, I hate this game. Not really, but I do. Not really. Uh, uh. I can't set the hook. I suck, guys. I suck at float fishing. This is why you never see float fishing on my, on my, on my channel. Because I suck ass at it. All right? You see how many bites we're getting. <laughs> no, we know it works. Finally, about time. What is this? A common roach? Yep, 500. All right, so Vendes and common roach, and sometimes white bream will bite here, but this is mostly mainly a... Give me that! Don't you dare get away from me! And it got away. For frick's sakes, would you stop? Ah, you see, when I float fish, I'm going to break something. I really do. And again, that's why I don't float fish, because I get really angry. <laughs> oh, give me that. Thank you. Come to daddy. You're not getting off this time. 481 Lake Trout. And uh, yeah, I forgot about Lake Trout. All right. So right before I hit the record button, I snapped my line because a huge, something huge got my um hook and it broke my leader. So I'm assuming that was a Lake Trout. So be careful. <laughs> you can get big Lakers that will bite here. So uh, yeah, this is a hot spot for Vendis. And I'm sorry I can't really show much because I suck. Uh, float fishing i've always have been um but i'll show you my keep net here right so i got three vendes here right before i started recording i got three vendes right off the bat um i did bring that in but i probably missed around 20 other bites because i don't know how to set the hook because i suck um <laughs> but we know this spot works so the later the night goes on the more the bite rate is going to pick up all right there's another one in the middle here uh Hair keeps getting the Dan way. Yeah, my damn. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to miss it. Now nah, I'm going to miss it. And I freaking missed it. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You just pulled. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 
Well, all you float lovers out there, this is a honey, honey hole, right? This is a very good vending spot. I know I should act professional, but with float fishing, I just can't, all right? I can show you where the where the hot spots are for float, but I can't really bring anything in because I, I just suck. All right, so this is method number three. Trust me, this this spot works marvelous. I was here yesterday and I caught like probably a hundred vendays within probably an hour and a half, and I'm not joking because I had to finish my Christmas challenges off. They were expiring today, this morning, and so last night I wanted to get all my Christmas challenges done. I didn't get all of them done. Close. But I had to come here for the Vendace. Catch one Vendace weighing 350 grams using float. And goddamn, dude, that took like five hours because I was going around the whole lake trying to find a Vendace spot. And then I came to this spot. And oh my goodness. So, looks like tonight it's not the best bite rate, which is weird. You're going to have the odd night where it's not going to be. But in general, this, trust me, it is a hot spot. Come try this out yourself and see what how your luck is. But this is float fishing spot number one. Let's go ahead and show you. Well, after we catch this one, <laughs> when we, if we can pull this one in, um, then I'll switch spots. But there's one other float spot that I want to show you. There's probably several float spots, but I want to show you. There we go to the Vendes. Another spot. All right. So this is this is spot number one for float, and this is step number three on how to make a lot of silver. So let's go ahead and go into the other spot where it's good for float fishing. Okay, so this is step number four. I know I said I was going to show you part two of the float spot. This is the float spot, but I just thought about, you know, not, most of you don't even float fish. I know some of you do, but for float fishing, this is basically the same setup you use for a bottom rig, but for feeding, all right? For float, you're going to want to set it at about a 70 to 80 um, depth, 60 sometimes, but around 70 to 80. Put a tiny hook on with red worms or night crawler. Well, night crawlers, you need like a large hook. So I'd recommend using a tiny hook with a red worm. And yeah, you'll get a lot of bites on the float at this spot as well. But because most of you use bottom feeding rods, I'm going to show you how good the spot is with bottom feeding, all right? Again, this is not going to bring you in like two kilogram fish, right? We're just trying to get as most silver, most silver as possible. So you're going to get crucians, you're going to get gibbles, sometimes pike, you're going to get some ides, you're going to, you know, all of those good goodies. And vendace even, right? So clip number 25 is for this spot. I'll show you what I'm using here. Um, and I'm using one. I'm using um, night crawlers and the second red worms because night crawlers and um, red worms work the best. So I put it one night crawler on this one and the two red worms right here. So for the red worm, tiny 24, 7.4 kilograms. If you want to go to five, probably can. There's nothing too dangerous here unless you get pike. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, three a lower go to five. It works too. But uh, tiny 24 red worms, um, and then for the night crawler. We got Nightcrawler and we got medium 10 hook because that's the minimum you can use for a Nightcrawler. I'm um, using 7.4 kilogram liter for this one as well, okay? So, just wait for this one to bite. Slap the line. There we go. We got one red, um, uh, red worms. Let's see here. I gotta eat. Let's eat some soup. All right. What do we got? Yep, Gibble. There we go. And they're gonna add up fast. I know Gibble and Kuchin don't... Um, uh, give you much silver, but if if you get a lot of them, it adds up, right? And remember, yeah, you're probably going to say like, oh, trolling is is the best option. Why would you want to do any of these? I get that. Of course, it is. Troll, you can't beat trolling at court, right? But the reason why I'm showing you the rest of these spots is because sometimes trolling does not work. Some days, it's just so dead that you can't even get a bite. So you're going to need other, um, you're going to need to find other opportunities to get silver at Cory Lake, right? So I'm showing you all the best possible ways to get silver. So if one method doesn't work, you go on to the other one, right? And then on to the other one. So one's going to work, right? So this this spot is really, really good for crucians and gibbles. And again, I'm not using any ground bait, okay? I'm not using any ground bait. I'm just using a weight and that's it. A lot of people use ground bait, which you can. That will probably increase the bite rate by a lot. But I'm just gonna, I'm trying to show you beginner, right? Beginner players that probably don't even have ground bait much unlocked that you can do this without it. All right. So let's see here. Menu. If it glitches, you got something on. If not, then you don't. I'm just gonna tighten the lineup. Yep, tighten the lineup. This is a really good spot. We got something hitting on rod number two here. 
always try to check the menu first glitch in because sometimes if you think you have it on and you pick up the rod it might scare the fish away so try making sure to look at the menu first all right there is another gibble 562 all right you know what i should i put ground bait in i can show you how the bite rate even increases more but we can try it i guess so we know without ground bait it does work i already shown you guys it does work so uh, let's see here. What can we use for this spot? If we go ahead and use roach mix, I think is the best. Yeah, let's use some roach mix. All right, let's put that on and shove that bad boy out there. Roach mix, most of you should have. It's very, very simple. Go to crafting, go to ground bait, go to roach mix, and it's just ground crackers, blood worms, and caramel. Caramel, you might not have it locked, but you should soon enough. Um, if you can't use caramel, then you can go ahead and make your own. All right, go to ground bait. What I would use for uh, for this spot is ground crackers, of course. I would go ahead and use, I don't have it, <laughs> uh, millet porridge, because you would have that unlocked. Um, millet porridge, chopped, chopped worms, most you would have unlocked. So I'd use that, okay? And then for the attractant, you guys, I think, what's the first one unlocked? Um, I think sunflower oil right i think sunflower oil is one of the earliest ones on that you unlocked this will definitely work all right um what else would you guys have i'm trying to think maybe i can go to skills maybe that'll help me out so if we go to making ground bait what's the first one oh caramel it is caramel oh i thought caramel was uh a little later on so no you can do caramel all right so put maggots in there put caramel some chot worms sunflower oil and uh yeah that would be a great combination but so let's go put some ground bait onto this one as well there's a perch they all add up let's go here let's replace this with this and then put some roach um crushing and gibble will also work as well put that back out there Yeah, it's windy right now, so I think that's why the line is slacking around. Yeah, oh, we got something on with the Nightcrawler. Oh. Are we dead, but we scared it away. <laughs> the menu is glitching. It doesn't mean all the time it's going to be accurate, but 85% accuracy on it. But, okay, we're going to take Nightcrawler off because it's not nighttime. Nightcrawlers are good at the spot with nighttime, but now it's during the day. Let's go ahead and put some red worms on, all right? Oh, and I got forgot. I got to put some ground bait on this bad boy here. Just to show you that it does work. Roach. And it's not just roach. Remember, because it says roach, it doesn't mean that roach is just, it's just good for roach. This will, um, a lot of fish will bite on this, all right? It's not just roach. You know, don't be scared about that. Like, it's not strictly just going to target roach. All right, we got something on this one. It's just chunky boy. Oh, ooh, where'd you go? Oh, 620 crucian. You got it. All right. If you, if you do want to play around with the trophies at this spot, you can probably go ahead and put like an extra large hook on or a large hook and, and lower the bite rate tremendously, but you might get a trophy that way. But if I were you, we're looking about how to get the most silver possible, and that's going to be by using the tiniest hook, which means the best bite rate possible. Um, like a sub five to seven kilogram fluo, sixty centimeter um, liter. If you don't have a sixty centimeter liter and you don't even want to ask me, you can go ahead and use a thirty centimeter. It will not make a difference. It's only when the big fish bite is when it makes a difference. So with these small crucians, roach, roaches, vendes, thirty centimeters will be just fine. It's not going to hurt you. It's just I wouldn't target big fish with 30 centimeter liters, all right? Okay, we got something here. Another gibble, perfect. Never complain about any fish you get when you're lower in level at all, okay? Go. Common Roach. And this will be the final spot I do show. There's even several more spots. Like, like I'll just show you instant, right? I'm not, because this video will go on forever, right? 
So another float fishing spot is right here. Okay. Right here, you put um, uh, mayfly larva on, um, small hook. And this spot, I believe, is 90 to 1 meter depth. All right. Right here. This is also a good vende spot. Really good. Um, next to this one over here. All right. So this right here is a good float fishing spot. Um, this going this way is a good bottom feeding spot. Um, again, for vendes. <laughs> um, or if whatever. I think lake trout too. But right here as well. Um, I'm trying to think of anywhere else. I know there's a lot of uh, spots that I'm not going to know of. But again, these are the ones that I personally know of. Oh, yeah. And off the dock right here. It's not a dock. It's a, it's a rock pier, what it looks like. So if you fish off the rock pier with a 1.10 meter depth, um, put red worms, you can put mayfly, stonefly larva on. So experiment around with it. But right here is also another good spot. Um, yeah. So, and also too, if somehow you don't have luck at this spot, there's three weed bays here. One to my left right here, and there's another weed bay to my right. So within the three weed bays, you should have decent luck, all right? One of the three is going to produce, all right? Look at all the fish we're getting. It, don't, it does not matter how small the fish are. Eat every silver matters, all right? All right. Take this back. And 574. All right, so the keep net is not bad. Probably about 100 silver. And remember, I was doing each spot for like five minutes. Each spot was about five minutes and it took off. So 15 minutes total, I would say, even though the video might be longer, <laughs> I spent around five minutes on each spot. Um, so I was going to walk back together and see how much silver we made. All right. You got to realize this is Cory Lake. You're not going to make the, the most silver in the world. All right. It's a lower end map. So. No, there's my boat. <laughs> um, so within 15 minutes, I would say, I know I've been recording for how long now? Uh, oh, only 10 minutes. Oh, I thought it was a lot longer than that. Never freaking mind. So maybe not even five minutes a spot. Maybe around three minutes a spot. So, oh no, because I, I split the videos up. Right, they're not all in the same part. Right, never mind. I was like 10 minutes. That kind of seems a little short. <laughs> That's because I'm separating each each part into a different video. So you guys won't realize that, but that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so the other one's probably around 15, 16, yeah. It's about 15 minutes, I guess, yeah. Five minutes on each. Okay, so this is the fish market over there. But again, you always want to make sure you go to the cafe first, right? Like I said, maximize your profit, all right? So cafe, let's see, did we get anything? Common minnow, no. Did we get white bream? No. Did we get crucian over one kilogram? No, but if you stayed there for a bit and maybe up your um lure um hook size a little bit, you might have got a got four of them. Um, common carp, don't worry about that when you lower level. Um, four 1.6 kilogram lake trouts. I have two here, right? I have two here. If I would have kept on going, I would have eased. I promise you, I would have easily have got the other two. So I'm gonna count that in my profit as well. Um. And I'll, I'll minimize the, when I sell the two trout, I'll minimize that profit into this one, all right? So we're going to discard the two um, lake trouts when we go to sell them and put this instead. So 61.43. And remember, I was trolling for like five minutes and I got two. So we know for a fact that I would have got probably 20,000 more lake trout. Lake trout is infested in that water. So I'm going to count it, all right? So 61.43. Uh, white bream, no. Common roach. This is another good one right here, guys. Common roach. 749 is not possible. Not by not by not any means possible. So if you want to go ahead, you can try to go for roach. Um, like I said, go to those spots. That's probably the best chance for roaches. Put on uh, a regular worm. Uh, could be a red worm or a night crawler. Common roach likes all three of them. Um, put on a small leader size. All right. Five kilograms. Seven kilograms if you want. Um, I wouldn't go past nine. All right. I'd recommend five to seven kilograms. If you want to go to nine, you can. I just wouldn't recommend it. Five to seven. All right. So common roach, if you would have stayed there long enough, I'm not sure if you would get eight of them, but if you're lucky, you might have. Right. So there's a possible chance you would have got 71 more silver. Um, 
six rough fees. We didn't get anything above 89. But again, if you fished off that island every single night, you would have this done. That's 95 silver, guys, for only 689. 89 grams is not hard to get at all. I get so many 100 grams a night at Cory Lake, right? If I actually try and spend every single night at Cory Lake at the off and, and going off the island, I'll easily get this. I can probably do five of these orders at once. That's how that's how good the roughy fishing is there. Um, but like I said, I only have like five minutes on each spot, so I couldn't really maximize it out, right? Um, I'm trying to make shorter videos for you that don't like long videos because most of my videos are just out hours and hours long, right? Um, so I want to make sure this is a little bit um, shorter for the for the ones that like shorter videos. And that's why I'm talking a little fast. I do apologize. But um, I'd, no, you're not going to get I'd. You can, but it's just so rare. You're not going to get trophy I'd. You're not going to get that. And char, you're not going to get char here. <laughs> yeah, it's like char is probably the same rarity as brown trout. Not going to happen, all right? So these do refresh every like so often. So as you see here, um, this one ends in 41 minutes. Uh, this one ends in nine minutes, um, 108 minutes, which is 70, 80, 90, 100. So about an hour and 40 minutes, this one ends. So yeah, they're refreshed there and there, okay? So let's go ahead and see how much silver we made in today's episode. Again, I will I'll discard the Lake Trout 2 because we already put in 61.43 for their cafe order. So uh, let's get the handy dandy calculator out plus... I'm going to do the lake trout last just so that I don't um, accidentally count that in. Um, so we're going to do Arctic char. We made 16.85 silver. I know you guys, again, balsa minnow, balsa minnow. I don't have that. Again, if you, if you heard what I said earlier, I'll give you one. Just give me a couple of days. All right. Give me use spikers in the meantime. All right. Spiker twos. All right. Black at nighttime. Um, green, yellow, red, or blue, or white will work during the day. Okay. Dodge crankers work too. All right, so within you, with the time you're waiting for me to um, give you the balsas, just use those instead, all right? Just give me a couple days. I'm at one silver. It's going to take about two days to get around 6,000 silver needed. I'll grind all night tonight. I'll grind all day tomorrow just for you guys so that you can have all the balsam minnows at early on. Because if you can get a balsam minnow when you just unlock Cory, you're going you're gonna to level up so fast, man. Because balsam minnows aren't meant for beginner players, okay? They're overpowered. So I'll go ahead and give each and one of you low players a balsam minnow, all right? So just give me two days, okay? <laughs> I got to save up for it, but I will, all right? So we got 16.85 silver plus, okay, let's tell that. And then common roach, we got 4.75. All right, sell that. Crucian, we got four at ten, four point ten. Okay, Gibble, we got two seventy eight. I wish it was like two hundred seventy eight. Uh, plus two seventy eight. Okay, everything adds up, guys. Everything adds up. Um, there we go. I we got one eyed. See, even if seven hundred gram eyes a baby eyed, and you still get four silver out of it. So plus four. Dot 22, that's okay. I was gonna say I was gonna say the number, but I'll share with you after. Uh, let's go with that. Lake trout, yeah. So we are so we got to make sure we, these two right here we counted for the cafe, right? So we cannot count these two, or it wouldn't make sense. All right. So plus 0 0.14. We can sell, we can sell these two. It's just these two that we counted. So these two, we got two off that, plus two. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm not going to sell these. I'll sell after when the video is done. But, yeah, so we're going to discard that. Um, perch is 10 cents, guys. Where are we going on vacation, man? Man, five-star resort with the 10 cents we got. Damn. Can't wait. Uh, there we go. Ruffy, we made... Th see how much... Pr four Ruffies pay 13 silver, guys. Four Ruffies pay 13 silver. Ruffy fishing is amazing. They give you a lot of XP. They give you a lot of cash. So plus 13.37. So that we got Vendace. We got 4.98 in Vendace. Okay, so that. And the last one is White Bream. We got 350 just for a little White Bream. Wow, it's amazing. 3.51. All right, guys. So in total, in total, of just fishing probably for 15 minutes on five minutes on each spot 
So 15 minutes in total, 15, 20, we made 118 silver, okay? Now for a beginner, that is absolutely nuts, okay? When I first unlocked Corey, I was having a hard time getting 20 silver. <laughs> so 118 silver in like 15, 20 minutes, guys, that's insane. So within an hour, you would have got, let's see, you can probably roughly get around 250 to 300 silver an hour if you do all the methods I do, all right? You know, if one spot dies off a little bit, go on to the next one. You know, as soon as that dies, go to the next one. Maximize your profit, all right? You know, nighttime, go to the island. Don't just sit on your ass at the um, at, um, at base waiting for daytime, right? You can be making silver while it's night, okay? we I've shown you, rough fee pays a lot. So we made 118 silver, so I'm just going to... See this right here 118.23 silver guys that is insane so yeah we can't count these but there we go 16 but 118.23 that is just amazing so if you guys did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up please smash the subscribe button i do appreciate it guys we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers we get to 2,000 subscribers i will make last giveaway look like trash that's right. And, uh, I, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway made the 500 subscriber giveaway look like trash. The 2,000 one, I will make sure there is something good in there, even better than the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, all right? I promise you, get me to 2,000. You will not regret it, all right? I love you all. I do. Um, I'll help you out whenever I can. Just give me a couple days for the balsam minnows, then I'll help. Then you can have all the balsals you want. All right. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing for Take Care.